guys welcome back to my channel life and english with rohini those who are new to my channel please consider subscribing and those who have already subscribed to my channel i am grateful to you guys today we will be doing christmas vocabulary our first christmas vocabulary is of course santa claus Santa Claus also known as Father Christmas. He is a legendary character originating from western christian culture who is said to bring gifts or presents to children on christmas eve. Our next word is sleigh. It's a type of sledge which is pulled by reindeers. Santa Claus comes on sleigh to give gifts to children. Reindeer is a type of deer with huge horns and they are located in the northern parts of Europe, Asia and North America. Next word is elf. The plural is elves. I have done a video on singular and plural. Definitely I'll give you the link in the description box. Elf is an imaginary character again and elf is small person with a pointed nose and a pointed hat. It's believed that Elf lives with Santa in the Northern Pole and he acts as his helper. Next in the list is chimney. What's a chimney? Chimney is a vertical hollow structure that allows smoke from a fire inside a house to escape to the air outside. It is said that Santa Claus enters the house through chimney. The sixth word is fireplace. The synonym of fireplace is ingle nook. Ingle nook. So what is it? A space on either side of the fireplace where a person can sit and relax. Candy cane. It's a flavored candy that has got a shape like a cane. That's a walking stick. Next is eggnog eggnog it's a drink made from milk sugar and eggs the next is gingerbread it's a type of a cake which is dark brown in color and which is soft as well that contains ginger you will also find gingerbread man and gingerbread house next is pudding one of my favorite that's made with either flour bread rice and definitely fruits in it. Next on the list are snowflakes, snowman and snow globe. Snowman is a model of a person made out of snow by children or for children. Snowflake is a small piece of snow usually shown as six-sided crystal on Christmas greeting cards. Next is snow globe. It's also a decoration piece which is round in shape like a globe and it has got liquid in it and it is made of uh, plastic or glass and if you shake that liquid you will feel as if there's snow falling. Ornaments are decorative items that are used to decorate the Christmas tree. Wreath. Wreath. Wreath is a circular decorative item which is made out of flowers leaves, evergreens, and sometimes of glittery material. Next is holly. Holly is an evergreen tree. Holly is often used as a Christmas decoration. Next is Christmas stocking. It's a long sock hung on either door or on the Christmas tree by children for the Santa to fill the sock with presents and gifts. Next decoration item is tinsel. Can you see this? This is tinsel. Tinsel are long shiny strips that are used for decoration like I have used it here. Poinsettia. It is a small shrub or plant that has large leaves in red color and they look like flowers. So it's a symbol of Star of Bethlehem that led the three wise men to Jesus. Next items on decoration lists are candles, angels, and garlands. So these three things we know already. 
Next is confetti. Confetti are small pieces of paper, they are colored papers, that are thrown on festive like New Year's Eve or a party or in marriages, they are thrown on bride and groom. However, they are also used as decoration material on Christmas to increase the gaiety of the festive event. The last on the decoration list is mistletoe. It is also often used as Christmas decoration. Next is Advent Calendar. Advent Calendar. It is a decorative piece of card with a small space or window for each of the days of a month. Each day when you open, you will find different pictures. Isn't that cute? Carol. Carol. A happy or religious song, usually sung on Christmas. They are called Christmas Carol. Next word is Christmas Eve. It's December 24th, the day before Christmas. Next is Sack. It's a huge bag carried by Santa Claus with full of presents and gifts in it. Next vocabulary word is Tower of Bethlehem. It is supposed to have appeared above Bethlehem at the birth of Jesus Christ. In the story of the Gospel of Matthew, where three wise men were inspired by the star to travel to Jerusalem. The last word in the list, that's the 30th word, is Christmas, a Christian holy day that celebrates the birth of Christ. So Merry Christmas all of you. Have a fantastic Christmas. I'm sure this video would definitely give you an insight on Christmas vocabulary.